and down to the bottom left hand corner of Antigua Shipyard. Oh, already Matt Pings, thank you. Um, we have our blue Protoss player, it's the Team newest player for Slayers. It is Genius. And his opponent in the upper right hand corner being pinged repeatedly. Winner of game number one, trying to put Liquid out to a 2 0 start. It is Zedio. It's like the, the lucky ping. It's like giving him a little massage before <laughs> his game or something. You just ping the hatchery a couple times and he's ready to go. It's like the supernatural force. The drones like can't explicitly feel it's there, but they know they're they have this like they, sense of reassurement just come over hearts, them. You know? And genius. That's right. Going ahead and building that pilot in next to his next, of course. He is playing oh a Zerg player. Yeah. Yes, we can see. And Ooh. he has chosen oh. Antigua Shipyard, oh. taking it away from Terran players as well. This, this is awesome because what we're gonna see from Genius is actually gonna be a gateway expand in PvZ. I I am ninety percent sure that's why he would put his pylon in his main. That's really the only reason. So we're going to see Genius play a little bit different. And he always did play a little bit different. He always definitely had his own brand of style. He was always, yeah. and there's a gateway, he was always one of the first people to adopt new strategies in a matchup. And I'm so happy he's on Slayers. Honestly, like, I know he wanted to join a foreign team, but I, I'm really, really happy that he's on a team and we're going to get to see him play. That's, like, the biggest deal to me, you know? It's and Slayers is a good fit for him. Right now, they're really becoming a Protoss powerhouse. That's just what I was about ah, to say. Okay, Think about yeah. it. Alicia, Puzzle, yeah. Genius. Yep. One, two, three. That is a ridiculous lineup of Protoss Brown players. As well. so. Slayers Brown is yeah. another great up-and-coming Protoss player. He had a, a couple flashes of brilliance. Uh, which is ironic to say since we're not actually talking about genius, but he uh, showed his stuff in uh, uh, earlier months of this year too, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him come back and do something too. Genius yeah. is like, ah, where's your drone? <laughs> I know your drone should be around here. So oh, there he is. Hello, drone. Hi. Aww. How's it going? So Does cordial. the fog of war look darker to you since the patch? I... You know, it kind of does. I'm like, I'm, I'm just waiting for things to pick up on the patch. Like we said, guys, about I, I know we sound like a broken record. I apologize for it, though. The game did just patch today. So um, with that being said, um, there may be a couple of technical oh. hiccups. We mm -hmm. just changed the settings around a lot. So it's on pretty low settings, I have to say. And it looks like yeah. things are still a little bit shaky. So yeah. uh, please bear with us. Technical difficulties with the new patch. Well, the good news is that the winner of this match, whether it's Slayers or Team Liquid, will be playing the final live in San That's Francisco. Right. So we're not going to need to worry about any sort of issues. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> oh, there, great. It's thanks. Be, so Appreciate I you know, saying I, that I now. It. Oh, great. But anyway, yeah, so it's it's really exciting. This match is so huge. Um, an opportunity for Slayers to get to another Team League final, redeem themselves for what happened at the GSL Team League finals, and an opportunity for Team Liquid to get to its first big team league finals as well i mean just a huge opportunity for both of these teams i can't wait to see who comes out it's going to be so much fun having these guys in town and uh we also want to announce that incredible miracle submitted their roster to us so oh, really? we're not going to announce it yet oh, it, it i don't even know we'll just tease it but okay. uh, i will say you know they've got players like uh mc and nasty and yeah, mvp yeah. um you're gonna see some of them so okay that's some? all i'm gonna say so some of them uh, at least one that I know of, so at that least, I know of for sure. So. At least one. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, as soon as I find that out, I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet it. So, um, well, so let let me know. Okay. Well, I'll and tell you. I'll, I'll put it this way: there are two GSL Codes winners coming. So, okay. There you go. All right. Interesting choices. Now, I mean, if we if we kind of did a little bit of guessing while we watch this game get started here, and it looks like Xenio. Um, is actually responding appropriately to seeing that gateway expand. He's actually going for Zergling speed. Now, a lot of times what Protoss will do lately out of this gateway expand is go for like a four barracks pressure. It's gonna hit a lot faster than it would out of a forge expand. So that could be what Genius is going for. He's got two more gateways on the way. How many does he have in total right total now? Total of three. Total of three, okay. So we've seen it done a couple different ways. We've seen Naniwa do this into a Stargate tech, actually. He went gateway forge uh, Stargate. And I'm sure we'll see a, a bunch of new variations as pros start to kind of play around with this gateway expand in PvZ. Excuse me, but right now it looks like Genius just kind of going for uh, some three gate pressure. Yeah, so let's see here and now. Just to kind of reiterate, if you see any stuttering on your stream, it's totally us. The <laughs> It's just got patched. The game's looking a little bit weird. So yes, it's, it's, it's you don't need to refresh or anything like that. Hopefully it just kind of smooths itself out for most of the game. It yeah. seemed okay last game. Just you a guys couple should be points. hearing our voices fine, yeah. so it's just a new patch. Voices. We're dealing with it. I'm going to try a couple more settings uh, in between the uh, in between the games, but once again, yeah. our, apo our apologies. So, yep. 
Okay, well, uh, looks like Xenio going to take his third now. He does have Zergling speed just about to finish up. Wants to make sure that he stays safe against any sort of quick Zergling pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, with the Forge up, there's plus one attacks. No real surprise there. And this is eventually going to move into a pretty conventional attack for Genius. But um, I like the way that he set this up. You know, uh, one thing I want to talk a little bit about what uh, Xenio is doing too, getting his Zergling speed a little bit earlier like that. Hmm. I, I kind of feel like this is something that's going to, again, become more common in this matchup. That just uh, in general, Zerg players are going to sacrifice a little bit of economy, not a lot, but a little bit, to get that 100 gas for Zergling speed a little bit earlier. We've seen Zerg players try to play for a long time on no gas for quite a while, but having speed lets you do things like this, little speedling counterattacks. And this one isn't really going to do much damage, I don't think. But it's kind of cool to have that option, you know, if a player wasn't prepared, you know, say if it was an issue where, or an instance where they were going Gateway Forge Stargate like we saw Naniwa do in PvZ a, a little while back in the GSL, you know, those speedlings might have gotten in there. They might have gotten to do some damage at the natural. So I feel like getting Zergling speed early on, even against like a Forge Expand, is going to be something Zergs are going to start playing around with a little bit more. Just because I feel like even though it sacrifices a tiny bit of economy, gives you a good amount of um, utility. And uh, Xenio once again putting down his lair over at his natural. It's going to be, it's about halfway done for now and he's starting to up his roach count at the moment. No evolution chambers quite yet to the best of, oh, never mind. Totally sorry, there is one up. Uh, I am blind as it appears as well. I, can I blame You're that fired. one? The, can I blame that on the patch as well? Yep. Okay, good. This is this is patch day. You can blame anything that happens on the patch. It's like Sweet. a, it's like sort of like it's sort of like a holiday in the StarCraft yeah. community because, you know, even though patches are a good thing, we like patches, we like changes. Yeah, and I mean, the new UI looks great, by the way. I love the new arcade thing. I think it's going to really help out the UMS community. I really do believe that. Um, you can also use that day to blame anything at all that goes wrong technologically so, on the game. So anything Michael Phelps has only won one gold medal today. Patch 1.5. Patch 1.5. That's, that's why, man. It's affecting everything. Michael Phelps is like, hey, man, I, I couldn't log in a little bit earlier, and that just threw me off, so I couldn't swim as fast. I, I'll buy it. Yeah. All right. You're right. It works. Everything. If okay. there's like... I don't know if there's like an earthquake and like someone's shelves fall over and they break a vase or something. Yeah. Patch 1.5. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah. These are the these are the things that you have to take into account when you release patches. That it suck to be an insurance guy on, on this day because they're like, oh, it was oh, uh, it wasn't arson, it was an accident. <laughs> that's right. Because uh, patch 1.5. And as much as they try to like have patch issues be filed under active uh, act of God for insurance claims, yeah. it just can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's it's actually just act of blizzard. So not appropriate. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> well, let's see here. Robo's up at the front. We're talking about insurance. see plus two is on the way, and we do have the uh, we have Blink coming up now. So Genius making a very well-rounded force. Xenio, on the other hand, uh, looks like he's got Burrow coming up, but uh, you know, not investing in the highest of tech quite yet. Not moving up towards those investors, and just going to produce a very overwhelmingly large Roach force. Yep, that's right. So it's going to be quite strong as well and uh, if we look at what genius has he's got a good amount of roaches but there's a lot of places on antigua shipyard where if you can get in a good position with your zerg army you can kind of make those force fields not count for quite as much now how many gateways total does genius have i mean he's got his third base down so obviously this isn't any sort of big two gate timing yet it's going to be five gate with robo and plus two as well so yeah, this will be a strong push if he wants to follow it up, but he doesn't really need to, you know, this, and, and it doesn't look like he really wants to, getting that robotics bay now as well. He can just kind of sit back and defend too, but as time goes on, he's going to have a stronger and stronger army. So I feel like we're going to need to have uh, Xenio start to do a little bit of teching here. Now this Phoenix course picks up on the fact that there is no tech on the field. Uh, we have drops coming yeah. up. We have that bit. Overlord speed, uh, Pneumatized Carapace, uh, but unfortunately just not really a lot. Oh, wow. Not sure what those sentries were doing, but now they're destroyed. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, well. Looks like the sentries were just kind of you know, they did their purpose. They were out there to scout, even oh, though I, guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They just they just wanted to do it. They're like, oh, you know what? I wish I was a zealot. I'd just be out there scouting, you know, maybe kill a zergling or two. And they're like, you know what? Let's just do it, man. Let's just live the dream. Who cares if we're sentries and we don't have a lot of damage and, and don't have a lot of hit points or shields or anything? Let's go out there and scout that middle of the map. Yeah. Or speed. They, they did it, man. Or utility. Or they scouted that. They even have hallucination. Why would they want a forward scout? They can just throw something up in the That's air and because it's go. just I don't know. It's just not. It's not the same as being there. You know, <laughs> hallucinating is, is like you a, a postcard from Hawaii. You know, the hallucinated phoenix 
sends back a little message to you and it's like, hey, I'm at the Zerg base, wish you were here. It's I was at the Zerg base and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. So. That's right. Yeah. Well, this is a well, lot of well. forces out for Genius as well. Yeah. He's he's developed a pretty well-rounded army himself, adding on a few more gateways now. Going to be up to a total of eight and does have uh, Colossus production well underway. And because uh, Xenio decided to max them, was relatively oh, passive. Oh, here we go, man. Uh, Genius has been able to do this. But as we can see, this is a big drop of roaches. Yep, that's right. And this is going to be an awesome occasion, awesome uh, opportunity for Xenio to break into the third, too, as soon as this army pulls back. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's already weakened the rocks. And this is a great two-pronged attack from Xenio, but will it be strong enough? Those roaches are going to go down very, very quickly. In the meantime, roaches coming in at the third base. Are they just going to target down the Nexus? It looks like there are. He needs to kill that Nexus and then get out of there. Yeah, so and the Nexus does go down, oh, but a few units man. are trapped with force shields there, so Genius at least going to kill yep. a few roaches, but losing that base is very bad for him. Yeah, it does hurt quite a bit. I mean, Genius is in a little bit of trouble now. On just two bases, he has an extremely strong army. He may just want to counterattack at this point. We'll see. Xenio getting his infestation pit now that that attack is done. Obviously, his tech is a little bit late, but I would say that's that's okay in this particular case because the third base did get killed off. He actually did save a lot of uh, roaches, too, or were those just loaded up? Um, I no, wasn't he, watching he the did, map. and he he's did producing actually, okay. a lot of them behind that as well. Good deal. So. He's got 61 Oh, out of I see field. what you're wow. saying. No, the ones in the yeah. main, no, those were all killed. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, well, this is coming in. Don't know how much damage it's really going to do. Um, yeah, as, yeah, you can just blink right into the main, so this is not going to do a whole lot. Yeah, without the counterattack there. Um, it looks like there are some units trying oh, to make wow, their way over. Oh, wow, the Colossi. Genius, watch out. Oh, that was close. Ooh. He nearly lost that Colossus, and because of that, he wasn't able to micro stalkers quite as efficiently. Lost a couple of those, too. Oh, and here they come at the third base again. Yes, this base is absolutely going to need to get canceled. So Zenia or not doing oh. a good job of pulling his opponent apart. Yeah, not canceled yep. there, so another 400 resources oh, oh. down the drain. Xenio's got those Colossi a little bit out of position. They're desperately trying to climb. Oh, man. They just barely get up there. Damn. That was close. Oh, I don't know about this. This may... Oh. All right. Well, you will be able to get this Colossi. That's nice. But he's going to start losing roaches fast. And yeah, that blink ahead. He's going to pay for that one. Uh, he is, yeah. I mean, uh, but, of course, he's two bases up on his opponent. He hasn't started to saturate this base in the middle quite yet, but all these roaches are going to go down. The Blink Stalkers will be able to catch up despite the speed of yep. the roaches. It's not going to be quite enough. We do have a War Prism coming up for Genius as well, so he'll try to do a little bit of multi-prong harassment in the future. Yeah, Genius needs to get out there and attack, like, now, now, because Xenio's just getting too much time. He's almost got a Spire, but this could end up being a good counterattack timing. I feel like Xenio may have lost a little bit too many roaches there, He's checking again for a new third base, and he will not see one because I think Genius just wants to attack. He's pulling his army back right now, but I think he just wants to trap those roaches. That certainly seems like what it should be, and oh, oh yeah. he does. Those roaches are all going to be dead. That is actually a pretty big development. I mean, Xenio does have a lot of forces banked, but he was trying to save up for Spire units. As we can see, he did just yeah. finish up his Spire. So once they add on oh, some Corruptors, wants to go up to higher tech, but a lot of these just going to die. Yeah, I feel like Genius just getting a little bit too over-eager yeah. here. He did take out a Colossus, but this is scary, man. I mean, now uh, Genius has a pretty big army, and he's just going to roll across the map with it. Plus three weapons did just finish for him as well. So this is going to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, that base is certainly toast. Okay, so base for a base now. Well, a couple, couple of bases for one base. Uh, Genius is going to have to do a little bit more damage than this, and he is certainly planning to, starting to roll his way up through the middle of the map. Unfortunately, Xenio can do nothing but produce roaches right now, and he's uh, actually up by a few workers as well, so army supplies are about even. Yep. Upgrades are relatively even as well, but this is just a purpose-built roach-killing force. Yeah, those are great force fields, too, from Genius. Not trapping roaches, but pushing them back so that they're mostly in Colossus range. And, yeah, that fight is just looking really good for Genius, and Xenio... Oh, man. Xeno's actually in huge trouble here in what looked like a game he was way ahead in. A couple bad attacks, and Genius looks like he might take it. Yeah, there goes two bases. Both players on even bases now. Roach is trying to run their way up the ramp, but they just can't move against these Colossi. Uh, the one Colossus finally goes down. Its time was about up. A bunch of drones yeah. are getting away, but Genius just has way too much stuff. Well, as any Zerg player will tell you, in the end, it's not the uh, Colossi that are really scary. It's going to be all those Blink Stalkers, and that's exactly what uh, Genius is going to use, I think, to take down Xenio. Yeah, that's not looking too good for a Zerg player. And we might see a tie game here very soon. GG, GG, there it is. Slayers takes it back, and it's all tied up one-to-one. -one. Yeah, Slayers' newest player, Genius, coming in.